welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren and welcome to a Princess Polly haul. If you're new here, my name is Lauren. I go to the University of Alabama. I am a college lifestyle vlogger, but I love, love, love showing you my favorite outfits, especially when it comes to the spring and summer seasons. If you see anything moving, my cat, Baby Elle, is right over here and she normally starts off like in her little unicorn bed, but she a lot of the times will like find herself moving amongst the pillows. So if you see the pillows moving, it's not a ghost. It's just Baby Elle. But thank you so much for clicking on this video. I am so, so excited to be showing you my Princess Polly haul for this season. It is getting near the end of the winter. I obviously live in Alabama, so it is already starting to warm up. Thank goodness so I can start wearing these outfits so, so quickly. I'm going to be jumping right in, but Princess Polly gave me a code for y'all to use. I'll be leaving it up here on the screen. That way you can shop my links in the description and you can try out any of the outfits that I try on in this video. I always love giving a size reference in these videos just because I feel like it's very important. I normally Normally watch these videos if I am wanting to buy something or looking for some new wardrobe pieces so I think it's very important to know kind of the size of what the person is wearing it so you know how to gauge that so I am 5'7 um, I do have a longer torso so a lot of the things I try on could look differently because my torso is like abnormally long like I don't know why compared to all of my friends I just have like a weirdly long torso keep that in mind I also normally am like an extra small or small in things or in the numerical size I'm normally a zero or a two sometimes in this Paul I size up. I would rather size up and it be a little bit too big rather than it being too small. So I'll be sharing the sizes and the links and everything in that in the description box. So definitely if you have any questions and you want to buy something, click that box down below. I love you guys so much. Let's get going with the haul. one that I have on here. This comes in a two-piece set. It is so, so cute. This reminded me of Valentine's Day, so y'all know I had to snag it. Almost all the way down, it is white, but it does have like these little red and pink flowers all throughout it. It also does tie at the top, so it's adjustable right here, and it also ties in the middle. I put it as a little bow right here. It is so, so cute. Here's what the back looks like of that top. It is so precious, and I love it. Here is what the skirt looks like. You can cinch it up right here, so it can be kind of like at a diagonal. It is really, really cute. I love this little fit. I think this would be so cute for like a little date night. Girls night, especially like for Galentine's, um, a little wine night. I think it's just so cute. I also got these really, really cute shoes. Oh my goodness, y'all look at these shoes. They are so cute and they're like, and it's like a Sherpa material. They're so soft, so cozy. They have been my favorite slides that I have had. I obviously work from home, so I absolutely love having these on my feet at all times. They're so, so cute. I love them. Now we're going to be hopping into the rest of the haul. And the next fit is on. Oh my goodness, I feel so, so cute in this fit. This is a zebra dress. Y'all, I was obsessed with zebra when I was in the sixth grade. Like my whole entire room was hot pink and zebra and I thought I was like the it girl. I definitely wasn't, but I felt like it and I absolutely love that this pattern is coming back and is back in style. I love how it is this halter top right here. It is a very deep V in the front and then it also has this cute little keyhole right here. Um, it does show my belly button kind of like when I I have bad posture which I normally do um and then also this little tie right here this is the length of the dress right here I think it's a pretty good length too um it's kind of form-fitting it's kind of not um, it's not an exact bodycon style but it does fit your body quite beautifully I absolutely love the detailing on the front I think it makes it kind of stand out from different dresses I would definitely love to wear this with like a statement heel like a red heel or like a neon heel I think it would look so so cute I cannot wait to wear this out it is also really really soft it's like a silk material and it feels so so soft throughout we're now changing into another two-piece set that I think is so cute <laughs> We are now in the next little fit. This does run kind of small, which I didn't realize when I first got it. This skirt fits a lot, a lot tighter than the first two-piece skirt that I had on. It's kind of zebra. It's kind of like wavy. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's really, really cute. This is what the back of it looks like. This is the skirt, and it, again, cinches up right here, so you can cinch it up a little bit higher if you want it to. I think it is just so, so precious, and I am obsessed with this blue color right now. It also ties right here, so you just tighten it a little however tight you want it, and then you just tie it in the back. So it is kind of adjustable right there, but everything else is just like a zip up and just put over. I think this would be really, really fun for the beach. On to the next. 
Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this outfit. I also was obsessed with the Powerpuff Girls when I was younger. And so when I saw this on Princess Polly's site, I was like, yep have to do it have to have it i loved bubbles i thought she was literally the cutest little thing i love it i absolutely love it so when i found this shirt of the powerpuff girls i was like yes absolutely yes like 100 yes add to cart we're buying it it is this cute little crop top and it does have the powerpuff girls on it but it says rodeo girls and i think it's so cute and then i also paired it with this little skirt so this skirt is very thin material it feels really really nice and it would be really great for spring and summer especially if you live somewhere warmer and it is like a pink leopard cheetah print um it looks the same all the way at around i think this would be so cute just as a staple piece to be honest because you know pink is a staple in my house life aesthetic were you also obsessed with the powerpuff girls or was it just me i love graphic tees especially in the spring i just love throwing them on we're now changing into the next outfit if only changing was this easy, I would live a very nice and easy life. But this is the next set. It is a two-piece hot pink set. I will say this runs a little bit small. The bottoms are a little bit smaller than what I am used to, but at least they're not going anywhere. They are like this little like V-cut right here, which I think is really, really cute. And then the top is this one that halters up. It also looks like this in the back. So you do just tie this in the back just like that. It is this really, really beautiful pink color. I am obsessed with this color. It also is like kind of metallic-y, but kind of not. It's probably not really picking up on camera, but it's so, so cute and you just tighten it. So I feel like this would fit like a lot of different sizes of chest. And then also, like I said, the bottoms do like this little V. So it really just accentuates your waist and your hips right here. These pants do go all the way to the floor. Um, like I said, I am 5'7" and they touch the floor they're actually like the perfect length where i could wear those slide shoes that i was showing you earlier that would actually be a perfect shoe for this little outfit now to the next one we are on to the next fit and i think this is so cute it's another powerpuff girl shirt you already know oh my stars i forgot i had accessories i did decide to buy accessories at princess polly this time i think they are so so cute hold on let me unwrap them and see if something goes with this one i am accessorized I'm ready for my close-up. Okay, no, but in all seriousness, I have been wanting one of these glasses, pairs of glasses. Do we always call it a pair of glasses? Because that doesn't really make any sense because it's not a pair, but these glasses. I have always wanted some. They honestly are so, so cute. You can see kind of the detailing on it. It's like a white marble. <laughs> like, put me in the next 2000s, like, it girl film. I am prepared. Anywho, I also paired it with this cute little necklace. Oh my gosh, this is such a cute necklace. I don't know if you can kind of see it, but it's like... <laughs> I'm just like living out my childhood dream in this outfit right now. Y'all are probably going to comment and be like, oh my gosh, the 2000s fashions are back. Yeah, it is. And I'm fully embracing it because I was an infant during the 2000s. Not really. I was born in 98. So like, I'm not really a 2000s baby. I'm still a 90s baby by association pretty much. Anyways, this is such a cute necklace and you just like put this little end through this. It's so, so cute. And this is such a cute t-shirt. This I got oversized because I just wanted it to be a little bit longer. It is a tie-dye powder puff shirt. Oh my goodness. And then to go with it, I do have on these little pink biker shorts, which I thought were so cute. They look so good on. They do run a little bit small, so I definitely would size up in these if you want to. They aren't that long. Um, a lot of biker shorts I have are a little bit longer, so definitely keep that in mind. Um, but I think it's really cute because if you lift up your arm or something, you can definitely see the biker shorts with this oversized shirt. Now on to the next one. How cute is this dress, especially for a spring break vacation? I also love how deep it is right here. You can also cross these two things over. So like it's not, you know what I mean? Like these two things you cross. Me personally, I just decided to tie it like this right now and I think it's really, really cute. I would love this as a beach fit. The back obviously shows a lot of your top back right here. I love the color scheme of everything. This is a short dress. So it does kind of hit just a little bit below my fingertips. But like I said, this is so soft also. It's a silk material. Kind of see the material a little bit better. And I would love to pair this with something. Oh wait, I have something to pair with it. Yep, 
I told you, I had something for it. I bought this cute necklace. It actually does come as a set, which I really love with necklaces like this because I'm so bad at pairing it together just by myself. I personally love a type of necklace like this to go with this type of dress, especially when it's so low cut. I think that these are really, really cute. It comes with three. It has this little gold chain, this pearl with the little medallion right there, and then this medallion one that's a little bit lower. On to the next fit, and I'm going to be showing you another little dress. Baby, I wanted to say hey. Say you love Princess Polly clothes, don't you? Say you want a mommy-daughter matching set. Yep. I just made her grooming appointment for next month. Aren't you so excited that you're going to get washed and groomed? Her hair is getting so long where, like, she can't maintain it herself. It's honestly kind of cute. But, like, it's all around, like, I guess, like, her mane. It gets long where, like, she can't fully clean herself. So, we're going to get a little bit of trim trim. But this is the next outfit, and it's honestly giving me Cinderella vibes. This necklace is a cute little smiley face. Oh, my goodness. It is just the cutest little thing, and I think it is such a good necklace to pair with so many different outfits. Tell me this doesn't look like Cinderella, guys. I love the little puff sleeves right here it's actually really really soft when I saw this come in the mail I was like oh my goodness this is even more precious than what I remembered it it is this beautiful ice powder blue color it hits a couple inches below my fingertips as well it also has movement in it so right when it hits your hip it kind of just flares out I also want to take a little break to show you some accessories I haven't shown you yet um just some shoes that I was obsessed with that I think also the first pair would look good with this outfit first we have these boots so these boots I honestly think would look really really cute with this outfit that I have on. They are like knee-high cowgirl boots with a black sole right here. And it also is like a crocodile print. They're not exactly white. They're kind of an off-white now that I'm looking at them. But they look really, really good. And I cannot wait to wear these. I love wearing boots all year round, especially since I am from the South. I think they're just so cute and a staple really in any girl's closet. Like at least just one pair of boots I think would be perfect. I also decided to grab these shoes. And I honestly think this would look cute with this too. If you're going to the right lace, I think that it could all mesh really beautifully together. So these are another pair of cowgirl boots, but they are cow print. I have another pair similar to these, but they are way too tall. Like the heel is way too tall for me. So when I saw these on the Princess Polly website, these obviously are a lot more functional. And then last but not least, these shoes. So let me show you what I was thinking about with these shoes. So these are a pair of black, I don't even know what you call these, sandals, like really chunky sandals. They're kind of giving me like grunge 90s vibes, which I'm not really upset about. Y'all know that I really don't wear a lot of black or darker colors. It's just, I don't think I look good in them, so I really just don't wear them that often. But I saw these and I love the chunky heel. So I got these socks to go with them. It's these socks right here. I have not tried them on yet, but there are these star sheer socks, okay? So these would look cute if you were just wearing like some chunky white sneakers to have like this kind of like peeking out. But I honestly think these would be so, so cute with those chunky heels. Shut up. Literally, I just think it was a moment. It was a moment. It was a statement. I liked it. We are now moving on to the final outfit, which I'm so, so excited to show you. It is the most precious thing ever. This is the last fit and I put it all together and I just think it's really cute. Obviously you can wear these all separate, but I decided to show you the last little accessory, which is this cutie little zebra hat. I've been obsessed with bucket hats. Anytime I wear bucket hats, I always get so many compliments and so many people want the link to my bucket hat and I saw this one. I thought it was cute. I thought that it would be so beautiful. I don't wear a lot of friends and so I felt like if I just wore like a plain colored outfit, this bucket hat would look so, so cute. So as you can see, it has like the little zebra print on it. Um, it's really thin and you could definitely wear this at the beach I feel like and then I paired it with this top so this top says sunshine on a rainy day <laughs> You know, we always try to be the sunshine on a rainy day. I honestly don't even know how to describe this shirt, like how it feels. Like this is, it feels like yarn on it. Like it feels like it's slightly embroidered, as weird as that sounds. And then I paired it with these little blue jean shorts. They are a little bit big, as you can see, but nothing a belt can't fix. They're kind of slouchy. Um, they're just cut off at the bottom. Princess Polly is one of the only places I can find things that are actually high-waisted on me and not just like the faux high-waisted because of how tall my torso is. That was my little haul from Princess Polly. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below what outfit was your favorite. I'm always wanting to know the most popular outfit amongst my subscribers. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to join the family, you can click that subscribe button also. Thank you, Princess Polly, for sponsoring this video, sending me some goodies, and also giving me a discount code for my subscribers. I love you guys so much, and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye!